Hello everyone, welcome to Lesson 7 of Objective-C on the Mac. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering a fairly simple concept, which is the description method in Objective-C. But more specifically, we're going to be working with overriding methods in Objective-C. So, um, just to start out, um, if you're wondering what the description method does, it's basically just a description of a class that you make. So for example, in our rectangle class, I could make, um, I could run the description method, and the description method would simply return a string of text, or an NS string, that would describe your class. So I could just say in my description method, this is a rectangle class, and then when I go to um, like print out the object in my console, I could simply be printing out, it will look for the description method and print out whatever the description method has inside, or what it returns. So um, that's pretty much what the description method is, but we're going to be looking at how we override methods, and that's what we're doing in this tutorial. We're actually overriding the description method, which simply means NS object already has created the description method for us, we're just actually using it in our program and basically we're overriding it or um, which just simply means we're rewriting our version in our rectangle class so NS object has already made the framework for it but we're just overriding it and adding something new so um, uh, let's get started by just going into our rectangle class and if you don't have the rectangle class because I know in lesson uh, 6 we kinda jumped to NS strings but um, if you did Lesson 5 at all, which hopefully you did, um, you might still have the rectangle class somewhere else, and you can simply drag and drop it into this program. Just make sure you copy the files if you do that. If not, uh, just go back and you know rewrite the uh, at interface and at implementation for the rectangle classes. So um, back to this tutorial here. Um, I've said multiple times that our rectangle class is inheriting methods from our NS object class. So NS object has a bunch of methods in it that we want to use sometimes, so we are just using the methods from NS object in a rectangle class. And some examples of NS object's methods are this alloc method and the init method. Both are from NS object. NS object uh, created both of these alloc and init methods and basically um, that's uh, where those methods sort of come from. So um, NS object, we are just taking methods from that class. So um, what we can do with those methods is we can rewrite them kind of in our own classes and uh, it just, uh, instead of running NS object's version, it'll just run the rectangle's version instead. But before I jump into more of that, um, I'm just going to give you a clearer understanding of how NS object, what I mean by we're using the methods of NS object, because NS object is sort of this abstract thing to us that we don't really know. But um, hopefully this will make it a little more clear of what it actually is. So NS object is just um, a class, just like rectangle class is, um, except it's kind of the higher up class. So if we want to see NS objects at interface, we can actually just right click it and go down to jump to definition. If you click that, it'll open up a little box here. One is the protocol, one is the at interface portion of it. And um, you don't have to worry about protocol, we'll talk about that later. But what we're interested in is the interface section of NS object. And that contains some methods that uh, we might want to use from our, in our own program. So let's go ahead and hit that. And as you can see, we jump to NS objects at interface. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's just one of those things of Xcodes uh, that uh, is pretty helpful if you want to look at uh, the at interface of NS object. You can look at all the nice methods that NS object has. So when I say that our rectangle class is using the methods of NS object, this is what I mean. Our uh, we have our init method right here. We have our alloc method. And basically, those are methods that um, we can use in our program, and uh, basically the compiler understands what they are because NS object has already created them. And our rectangle class is allowed to use any of the methods that we define in NS object, which is pretty cool. So uh, if we scroll up a bit here, we can see that 
and its object actually has a method called description, and it returns a type of NS string. And this is the method that we want to use in our rectangle class. So, like I said before, we can use any of the methods that are in NS, NS object and quote unquote overwrite them so that we can basically make them our own version. So, here's what the description class looks like. So, let's go ahead and go to our rectangle.m class. And since the interface portion is already made for us when we import NS object, or not import, when we're inheriting information from NS object, we already know what um, these, uh, we don't have to redeclare the methods that NS object already has. We can simply jump right to our implementation portion and we can overwrite these methods. So just scroll down to the bottom and the NS, or sorry, not the NS, the description method looks like this. And a string pointer, since it's a class, and it just looks like so. And as you can see, it nicely autofills it because it knows that this method is already in NS object. And we want to overwrite it. So that's what we're going to do right here. So as you can see, it returns an NS string. And we can just say return. And we can spell return right because that would be helpful or else it won't know what the heck we're doing. And uh, here we just have to create an NS string. So at and two double quotes. And we'll just say this is a rectangle. Oops. I wish I could spell rectangle class. So that's all there is to it. Now this description method, when we go to print out our class or our object that we create later on in our program, it'll look for this description method and it will return the string that's in the description method. So when we go to print out this object later, it'll say this is a rectangle class. And it's just not, it's not just limited to this either. We can return tons of information. We can return things and in instance variables that are in this class. Um, this is just a very simple version of what an, or the description method does. We could return different information. Uh, we could return height and width, different things in a string, and we could have that return. But we just want to make a simple, uh, just a simple string of text right here that just says this is a rectangle class. So let's go back into our um, main method here, and we've already imported our rectangle.h class. And let's make a new object. So like we did before in previous tutorials, we went rectangle, rect, gets, and this will become second nature soon enough. Rectangle alloc in it. Oops. And that's as far as it has to go. So, and don't forget the pointer, of course, since we're creating a um, we're creating a class object here. So um, that just creates the object right there. And now if we want to go and print this object out, what I mean by print is that when we when we put um, this object in our NS log, it'll look for the description method and it will return the string that we have in our description method. So let's go ahead and do percent at and as parameter we'll say rect. And what this will allow us to do is it will return the string that is in the description method. So let's go ahead build and run and we'll go up to our console and as you can see right here this is a rectangle class. So again, all we had to do for that was overwrite the description method, which is already created for us in NS object. And um, basically, when we create a rectangle object, uh, it looks for the overwritten method of it looks for the lowest down method. So since we overwrite the description method here, it will use this description method instead of NS objects, and it will return whatever we have in the description method. Hence, when we go to print this out in NS log, it prints out whatever is in our rectangle class's description method. So that's um, a pretty basic introduction to overwriting methods and the description method itself. So um, I hope you understand this tutorial. Um, just the key parts of it are simply the fact that we can take methods from NS object and we can use them and change them any way we want in our rectangle class. And that's about it. Um, there's not too much to this tutorial other than that. And uh, 
the main things that I just wanted you to get out of it were just the fact that you can use methods from NSObject. And I hope the visual representation of seeing NSObject's class helps you out a bit. So if you have any questions on this tutorial, feel free to leave your questions in the comments or just send me a message, doesn't really matter. Uh, and if you have any questions on anything uh, about these tutorials, uh, feel free uh, just to ask. Uh, all these things are open to you, and pretty much this is just uh, for you. So uh, any questions would be, I'd love to answer them. So uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next tutorial.